One of Germany's largest armored vehicle manufacturers, Rheinmetall, says that their new main battle tank KF-51 Panther will be better than the Russian T-14 Armada tank in all respects. So a K-51 Panther versus T-14 Armada comparison should be made to verify the claim. Weapon System the main weapon system of the KF-51, known as Future Gun System, is a 130mm L-52 smoothbore barrel capable of firing next-generation kinetic energy munitions, programmable multi-purpose high-explosive munitions, and U-Visions, Hero 120 loitering ammunition. The Future Gun System has optimized sensors to shoot a lynx. Compared to the 120mm guns, the future gun system fires 50% longer and a superior rate of fire aided by autoloader performance. The autoloader stores 20 ready rounds. The future gun system can fire 6 kilometers. The main weapon of the T-14 Armada is a 125mm 2A821M barrel, and it is also adapted for launching missiles. Russians say that the Armada 2A82 cannon is more accurate than the 120mm L55 mounted on the Leopard 2A7, while the wear resistance of the Russian barrel is much better than that of the competitors. The tank is equipped with an automatic loader and a range of different types of shells. The T-14 tank uses guided missiles from the barrel, providing armor penetration of 1,200mm. Russian media says that the muzzle energy of the Russian cannon is 1.17 times higher than that of the Rhine metal RH-120 gun and fires about 7 km. Armada can also be equipped with a 152mm 2A83 gun if required and is ready for production. Undoubtedly, the T-14 Armada gun has better characteristics based on the information above. Tank Digitization the K-51 Panther maker says that the tank is entirely digitized as per the NATO generic vehicle architecture standards. It enables future decision support and the use of artificial intelligence in the future. Any of the tank's four crew can operate any function of the tank at any time without prep. The Panther is a software-dominant tank which can collect and distribute information on a multi-domain battlefield. It has a modern BMS and software-based communication systems enabling cross-platform sensors to shoot a lynx, and the Panther can control onboard or offboard drones, loitering ammunition, and even uncrewed ground vehicles. The fully digitized system and common crew stations help human-machine teaming and control wingman UGVs capable of performing platoon-level air and drone defense. Armada features a fully autonomous target designation and firing system and smart projectile protection. Russians call Armada an armored combat computer. Armada is stuffed with electronics and autonomous systems, many functions are fully automated and require only control from the crew. Armada too can network with other tanks, helicopters, and UAVs and assign targets to other platforms like a T-90M. Based on the information above, it is hard to tell which tank is better, so we'll let you, the viewers, decide in the comment section below. Crew Armada is a three-membered crew, whereas the Panther can have a fourth crew. Panther has an automated loading system in the tank, which the Western tanks currently do not have. The fourth crew of Panther tank controls unmanned aerial vehicles, and that is an undeniable advantage of the Panther. Tank Defense Panther has a pre-shot capability and uses active and passive protection with top protection capability. It has both onboard and offboard sensors and defense like UAVs and UGVs. Armada also has active and passive defense, but may rely on an external method for protection against top attacks. It does not carry its own offboard sensors like UAV or UGV. At the same time, Armada has both Afghanid active and passive defense systems. In tank defense, K-51 betters Armada due to top attack and offboard sensors and weapons. Armada appears to have better crew safety as the tank crew sits in an armored capsule. Both tanks can also operate in an electromagnetic battlefield. Generational Difference Russians say that Armada belongs to the fourth generation of tanks, which is generally characterized by the latest technology and designs to operate in the current advanced warfare environment. Based on the known characteristics, Panther belongs to the third fourth generation technology. Engine 
Panther is assumed to use MTU 883 V12 diesel developing 1,475 horsepower at 3,000 rpm, which is in use with the Leopard 2 tanks. The Panther can travel 500 kilometers without refueling. Panther has a combat weight of 59 tons. Armada uses a newer engine capable of developing 1,500 horsepower. Armada engine accelerates to 90 km per hour and can travel 500 km without refueling. Armada weighs about 48 tons. Both the tanks have an onboard computer that controls the engine and transmission. Armada definitely has an engine edge with a better power-to-weight ratio. Production K-51 Panther exists only as a concept and is still underdeveloped. It will have to undergo many engineering improvements and tests before entering production. Armada, meanwhile, has been already battle-tested in Syria and, so far, 45 of them have been built. However, there is no proof that the tank has been developed in Ukraine yet. And that's it for today. Thank you guys for viewing in. Bye-bye.